Hey, how's it going? It's December 15th, 2018. Uh, we're on React Holiday Day 15, so I'm going to take 14. Uh, I am going to oh, get out of Zen mode, and I am going to fork it. Uh, that gives us a new uh, project. Um, so with a new URL, you can follow along if you want. My goal today, let's change this to 15. Now, my goal today is to kind of catch up. In the previous videos, um, I had encouraged you to take the Pokemon data and make your own Pokemon with it. Now, I hadn't actually taken the time to do that yet, so I need to do that, and I figured that today, since it's video only, no email, it'd be a good day to do that. Um, that way I'm not regurgitating a bunch of stuff via text. Um, I thought maybe if you wanted to, you could just kind of follow along and see how I um, do all this stuff. So um, we're on day 15 and the goal is, is that we want to change this Pokemon component, the Pokemon detail. Um, right now it is only doing, it's, it's only displaying the name. So that's where we're going to be working today. I'm going to put this back into Zen mode, uh, which just gives us a little bit more space um, and kind of recap what this component is doing. So um, this component is the Pokemon detail. Uh, it takes a Pokemon ID and that changes it to ID locally for the scope of this component. Um, and then it creates a local variable named Pokemon which reads from a resource. Now we're using the um, this resource here um, and we have a create resource which we import from React Cache. Now it's unstable currently, so that's why it's unstable and we're aliasing it to create resource for the scope of this module. Okay, so we are using it as, uh, what is it, create resource. Um, now what create resource does is that it takes an ID and we're, and we're calling it with an ID, so it takes that ID uh, it will then do a fetch. It uses a template literal string to fetch that URL. Uh, we start with one, so it'll be pokemon.co slash API slash v2 slash pokemon one. <laughs> so that gets this dollar sign and curly braces interpolates it out when in these template literal backticks. Uh, we then take that once that's um, resolved, we'll take that as JSON. Now we're delaying this right now from the previous lesson uh, for uh, uh, what 1500 milliseconds. And that was just to illustrate a point that if you um, that you can separate the loading states of these things. So as I click around, um, we, we see this loading state, but this all stays in place. So I can actually take that out now. Um, so I'll take both of those out because um, I'd like to have this refresh as quickly as possible, each change that we make. Now, once we have Pokemon, um, and we've read that from the resource, we have access to all of the data. So we're using Pokemon.name currently. Now, um, I had showed you also in a previous video that we can use this RESTlet client built into Chrome. So I need to keep track of time. We're gonna go for coffee in a little bit. Um, so uh, we can use this restless, RESTlet client um, to actually explore this um, API, which is very cool. So um, uh, basically, I'm just using this URL that I've been given. So the Poke API URL number one, and I'm going to hit send, and that's going to go and get all of the data. So these are the headers that we get back. Uh, I'm not super worried about that. Oop, um, what I want is the body. So we'll collapse the headers. And to give us more room, we'll actually hide that. And we can collapse all these down to be just the root level elements. Now, um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to have use something else as a model instead of just trying to pull out all the stuff um, on my own. So I thought I'd go to the official Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon company, international uh, Pokemon.com slash US slash Pokedex. Um, and then I clicked on Bulbasaur. So I wanted to see what of these pieces of data that they show um, are available um, to us via our API and see how many of those sections I could recreate. So um, we're gonna do that now. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk through the process, but it might not be as heavy teaching um, as the other videos. It's just gonna be kind of me going through it. Um, so let's see what we got. So first there's like a slight description. So I wanna see if that's in our, um, in our API. 
platforms, games in the seas, default. Okay, so it looks like that's where the images are. Um, so that'll be handy. Uh, I don't see a description, so that's fine. We don't need one. Um, versions. Doesn't look like that's in there. These will definitely be in there. So let's see. So we have height. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is I'll probably create a section for this. And um, so in our article, we have the name. And I'm just going to divide everything up by section. Okay, and then um, I'll have another section. Um, let's see, this might be like a, like, it's not really a table. Um, let's maybe use like a definition list. Um, I can never remember how this is supposed to be. It's like definition term, I think it is. And um, definition, definition, which is just hysterical. It's, it's such a weird API. Um, so this is going to be, what was it? Height, weight, gender. Oops. So this will be Pokemon dot height. Let's see, height is seven. Do we have a weight? Yep, 69. So we'll copy this. Oops. Change that to weight. Okay, seven, 69. Um, obviously these are different or measured differently than um, the data that they have. Uh, I don't know if I need to convert that or not, but we'll find, find out. Um, gender, category, and ability. So let's see if we have those in our API. Um, height, name, Bulbasaur, species. Um, doesn't look like we have a gender, at least not here. Um, category. Species? No. The stats. And abilities. Okay, so overgrown. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so abilities are in here. And this is an array of data, which means we have multiple abilities. Um, so um, that's actually a good thing. So let's see, how will we do this? Um, I don't know if technically in a definition, well, let's see, we'll do this. So first of all, so we'll do abilities. And um, I don't know what the semantics are for definition terms, if they can only be one, or if you can have kind of like a list like we have. Um, so right now we'll do abilities of zero just to get the first one um ability so okay so we have abilities and then inside of it we have an object with an ability and a name got it okay so abilities of zero dot ability dot name cool um so then if we change this to one, um, that would be overgrow. Perfect. So we're just reaching into the abilities array and then grabbing that data. So now um, I'd like to, and maybe we can put like an unordered list. I'm so bad with, uh, with, with markup, but maybe we can put an unordered list inside of our definition list and um, change this. So we'll call map on that and we'll take each um, of Ability, and we will return um, a list item, which we will whoops, use the API that we had, which is the ability dot name. Um, but because we have to call it through this object, it's going to be ability ability dot name. Did I get that right? Yes. So now we see 
uh, chlorophyll and overgrow as an unordered list. Um, now that uh, seems kind of funny, so we can actually do something where we um, can destruct, oh my gosh, my fingers. Um, we can destructure ability off of this because we know that this is an object. Um, so we can say, okay, we know that ability is an object. Can you give me just the ability property of that, that object? Um, now, when we do that, we, we have to put these parens around it um, because you gotta. Um, so when you're using this kind of this function syntax, you have to put these parens around it. Now we can delete this other ability. Um, so we're saying for each item, which we know is an ability object, grab the ability property and then use that for this. Um, so we have name and URL. Okay, so that's where like when you click this, um, you're getting the extra data. Um, so I can check that out um, and see that this is information about uh, chlorophyll, I think. Yeah, so ability 34. Um, this Pokemon seed is double. Here, wait, let's see. So overgrow, power up grass type moves when Pokemon is in trouble. Um, so wait, let's go. Is there a way to go back easily? History. Okay, cool. Um, continue. Um, so let's see if this text matches what we expected. Pokemon has three, one third boy grass moves in Floyd. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's relatively the same. Um, and then these are, I guess, divided up by language. So that's really nice. Um, history. Okay, so let's go back to our Pokemon. We'll we'll uh, figure that all out all later. Okay, so we've got the ability um, that is cool. Um, awesome. Uh, what's another thing? So that is that section, or at least everything that we have in terms of the details for that that section um, in our API. Um, so let's take a look at type. Um, I assume that that is going to be available for us. Um, we'll make a new section. Um, actually, what was this name? Okay, yeah. So we'll say H2 type. And um, yeah, so let's go back to our API. So type, types, cool. So there's two slots, poison and grass, perfect. Okay, so we got that. Um, so we'll do unordered list, Just to, yeah. So we'll do unordered list. Um, and again, uh, you're gonna see this a lot. I, I mean, I do this a lot in my work. So um, I don't, uh, let's see, what am I doing? Uh, Pokemon dot types dot map. Uh, we're going to pull off um, for every object that we get in that array. We're going to pull off a type, and then we will return a list item with uh, type type dot name. Close that list item up, um, and it's pissed at me about something. Make sure that's how the API works. So type, oh, it's a slot. No, wait, no, that's right. T types, type, name, types, type, name. Types, map, type, type, name. Um, ah, I was doing something funky there. There we go. Okay, I'll hit save and then I'll reformat. Um, just to get it looking right again. Okay, so cool. So we have types. Now, um, I just want to show you real quick, if I tap this, now this is going to change um, change all the details. So this is going to work for, for every Pokemon that we have. Um, okay, cool. So that's good. I, I know that it's not pretty. We'll, we'll talk about styling in the, in the coming week for certain. Um, weaknesses. Let's see if that's what we got in our API. Wait, so it's definitely not called weaknesses in our API. 
Um, we have some moves, so that's interesting. Stats. Okay, so it looks like we don't have an API, or at least not that I can tell, for weaknesses. So we'll skip that section. Um, and we will go into stats, um, which we do have. So let's dive into stats. We'll make a new section. Um, H2 stats. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the final form of this will be, but, um, you know, it actually kind of looks like a, a table. Uh, so why don't we, why don't we do a table? Um, we'll see. One thing that you have to remember in React, which is kind of funny, is um, you have to put a T-body. Um, we've had this experience in the past where if you don't put a T-body, um, it'll put these elements not in the right place. So uh, I don't know if that's something that is able to be fixed. I think you just have to remember to put a T-body um, in there. So T, I think it's T-head. All these old APIs are a little funky. Um, actually, I guess it's actually... Um, in the footer. So why don't we put that? Okay, so um, the way these work is that they work in rows uh, with table data. Um, so again, I'm just going to do the first one and then kind of see how I would uh, make it actually um, kind of codify it. So the first one, let's look at our API. We have stats, and um, so the first stat has a, let's see. So they, it looks like maybe just have the, looks a little different, unfortunately. So we need stats, object, base stat, stat, object name Whew. um so stat pokemon stats first item dot stat nope dot name Okay, speed. We got speed here. Okay, cool. So what we would do is we would likely put that up here. And we would call map and for each stat object we would call Pull off stat. Um, table row. Table data. Table data. Table row. What did I do wrong? Again, with that, that paren right there. Um, okay, so this is destructuring the object. Um, I have a closing here. Um, what is that error then? Oh, whoops, state. I do spell state a lot in React apps. Um, let's format that. Um, okay, so... That's not actually what we want. I think I actually want that here. Let's see, table T 
foot. I think we still do table rows, but no table data. Uh, so MDNs my go-to for all this stuff. So foot, table row, um, table heading. Total is 2100. Hmm. I guess I want a table heading. Let's try it. Every once in a while you get to see me suffer and that's special for you. <laughs> um, oh, maybe no. Nope. Yeah, we want just one row. I keep thinking columns. We just want one row and then we want all of these. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So now I have each of these in columns or yes, each is in their own column in this row. Perfect. Um, now the question is, how do we get that to match up uh, in the body? So we're going to have a table. I guess let's just copy and paste this and see what happens. No, here we would. Is that right? No, that's not right. Really seen me struggle today. Okay, so um, let's see. So we want, um, yeah, I think that's right then. Okay, so now we just need to get the actual data. So we're gonna use base stat for that, I think. Yes, base stat. Base stat. Perfect. Yeah. So um, 45 speed, 65 defense, 65 special attack, 49 defense. I think that all matches up. Uh, hit points. Yeah, 45. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now we have a stats table. That's great. Um, we can close that. Um, our stats are here. Perfect. Um, now, I guess the last section is evolutions. And do we have that? Um, forms. Bulbasaur. Moves, name, order, species, sprites. Interesting. So it looks like we don't have the evolutions available to us. I, I do know that they go in order. So like the next couple are Bulbasaur, but not everyone has like the same number of evolutions. So um, we might have to kind of construct that on our own, unfortunately. Um, bummer. Okay, so it looks like we have a lot of data, but it's like different data than um, than this this endpoint that we have. Um, okay, cool. Well, whatever. Uh, we can deal without that. Uh, let's get a picture of him. So, uh, right at the top, we are going to, and this will probably be the last thing that we do. image can almost never remember the API for image um, alt okay so where is our image these are in sprites um, let's just do the front default so we'll do uh, sprites front default so this will be Pokemon Sprites front default. Excellent. Um, alt text. Uh, we will use some interpolation here. Uh, we'll do Pokemon name. Uh, image. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? There we go, that's what we need. 
Um, okay, cool. So we have an image. We have the name. Um, let's make that bigger up here. Okay, so we have the name, we have the image, we have um, the height, weight, um, abilities list, uh, type, um, and some stats. Awesome. Now, let's see. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good for today. Um, that's a that's that's a pretty good run. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we do. If you have any questions about anything that I did today, um, feel free to ask those or anything that happened in the previous week. And tomorrow, I'll make a video um, for that. But um, you know, for right now, I think that's a pretty good pretty good start on my Pokemon, and we'll learn how to style it. Thanks.